now you guys, you know, you know, was aware that I was addicted to hair weave for 13 years. That my son didn't even see my hair. I would go into the salon suite, redo it late at night, early morning, whatever it may be. What did I do? I went ahead and started sticking the the, um, the straight pins, putting those stick pins in. My name is Morello Kane. I am here. You guys are going to be a part of my consultation today because as you guys have known, you know, I have been rocking it with the different head pieces and whatnot. I have taken off the sides, you know, got a little bold, have taken off the sides, but now I'm just like, you know, a sister want to um, start swimming. I, you know, it, it, we had it from the spring to the summer, different look, you know, the head pieces are getting a little high. So, you know what? You know, I want to have that choice, you know, and I'm like, absolutely, if style. I want to wear my own hair, I can do so. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So now, thus, is the reason why I'm right here in Angela's home. I said, so introduce to my people who you are. All right, everyone. I'm Angela King. I am the owner operator of All Hair Studios. Um, I've been doing hair now for about 18 years. I myself been doing hair for years, but now I found myself in a situation where we have a similar hair journey. <laughs> yes. So we are going to discuss uh, what did I do to improve that situation for myself and how that made me more relatable Absolutely. to my clientele and understand I didn't just uh, had sympathy I empathize because it too had became my journey Absolutely. that um, so mm -hmm. I am passionate about yes. hair and I'm super uber excited that I was able to find something that I can also put my clients on a regimen to get them back to happy and healthy now you guys, you know, you know, was aware that I was addicted to hair weave for 13 years. That my son didn't even see my hair. I would go into the salon suite, redo it late at night, early morning, whatever it may be. Okay, but then came on the back, came on the back, and actually, you guys witnessed me, you know, kind of wear my hair and my own hair for a while, you know. And so then I went back to. I want to change the style of putting hair in, and so now I want to say you one time braided me up, Correct. you know, and um, and and sister hair was not long, but I had a little something, yeah, that just yeah. a little something. It was very grippable, <laughs> <laughs> we braided it, <laughs> that braided it. <laughs> and so, what did I do? I went ahead and started sticking the, the um, the straight pins, okay. the bobby pins in it. You know, going back to that same of uh, timing, you know, y'all know how time is. You know, you entrepreneurs, you mothers, or whatnot. We try to save every little minute and, and we take away from ourselves. So that's changing in 2020, putting more time for morale. And so in doing that, putting those stick pins in, and you already know what happened. I'm talking about back to square one. But I'm talking about to the bare bottom foundation. We drawing out the square in this, yeah. So, I, I, no hair. And so, so now, if you can look through and see what we're working with, Angela, and we'll just kind of go from there, you know. Okay, so what she's speaking of, everyone, is external damage that she has done. We all know we have nerve endings and whatnot within our scalp, well, throughout our whole body. However, when too much tension is put into an area, whether it's from too tight ponytails, whether it is um, hair uh, pins that are just sitting and kind of digging in the scalp area, uh, or sometimes we like to do head ties and then we end up finding out that we're rubbing that hair out. And then sometimes when it becomes a, a continuous thing, yeah. we can't undo so what we're trying to do is put a stop to it yes. before we have to go into hair injections and the part where now you're falling out of our hands as cosmetologists and now you're needing to see medical you know further on health so to a dermatologist correct so 
she does have her peach fuzz still going on. The nerves are not dead. Clearly, she she still has hair. But what we're trying to do now is promote more hair growth in that area. So, um, as I'm looking through here, it is completely, in my opinion. Well, girl, don't put it up too far. I don't want to see it. No. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, completely salvageable, and we're gonna have some before and after pictures. Are we not? I myself will be doing a hair reveal as well. So hopefully, and I'll share with you today the regimen that I'm going to be using that got me back to happy. I think I have maybe two items that I don't have with me to show today, but I will uh, tell you what they are. So what I would do is morning and night massage my scalp. Okay. okay, I would massage that area with uh, the black castor oil and vitamin E oil. Okay, I would I would massage with that, and then take notes. Not um, these give you instructions on how to use them. I'm going to tell you to use them how they have been told, instructed for you to use them. But I'm going to tell you what I did while using them. This was my modification. This is uh, not being endorsed by the user, uh, by the makers of this brand or this brand. This does not come from them. This just comes from me. Um, I would do a drop of this one day and alternate it with this the next day. Please do follow up on instructions on the back on how to use it. I'm just telling you how I did it. So I would do alternating these two okay. while taking main choice oh. hair vitamins daily. This is Kaleidoscope, and these are Miracle Drops. It comes with a dropper in the inside and a little bit of okay. In conjunction with this product, like I stated, that um, you will alternate between the two. This is Wild Growth Hair Oil. And then main choice was the hair vitamins that I decided to go with. For those who don't like the pills, please, you eat your breakfast, keep your bottle with you. As you see, I have it today. I actually just keep mine in my car. Because I normally don't eat until I get to work. So I leave it in my bathroom, pan, uh, cabinets, or wherever you want to keep your medicine. If you are not a regular pill taker that goes to that cabinet to uh, get uh, pills, yes. you're not going to remember your daily dose. Mm. But if you do, keep it stored in like your glove compartment okay. or at your place of work or Buy two bottles. You're gonna need it anyway. Keep Absolutely. one at work, keep one at home. So right no telling wherever you may be, you're still gonna go through that supply. So buying two bottles is not a waste. And then just set yourself a, a reminder, uh, your timer, okay, take this, but you you need food when you eat, uh, when you do take it. So do take it with food. However, I'm just excited to share that yes. there is hope and it does okay. come back. So well, <laughs> Well, so now, let me just say this. Um, you guys will definitely be a part of this journey with me. And so, again, stay tuned because it's so much that I'm wanting to do to inspire someone else that is going through this. Because just because we are hair care providers, hairstylists, um, I mean, that is my passion is hair care. Yeah, because I don't have it. I don't have any. You know, and, and I, this has always been my battle. But again, you know, that's where my passion comes from. And I'm wanting to definitely help someone else that is going through the things that similar with what myself and Angela have gone through. So now, you know, if you guys are happen to be in an area, want to come by and consult with Angela, please give them your information where they can contact you at. Okay, so AWE hairstudios.com um, I also have an Instagram I have a Facebook page it's AWE Hair Studios for both of those so if you wanted to book or come in for a consultation or just simply see where I am yeah, go from there and you guys continue to subscribe okay share 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 all right, we just had Congresswoman Presley to come out to say what her battle has been. And so, ladies, we're going through it. I don't care.
care uh, how high we are or where you're located, we are. And so we, again, must educate, connect, and, and um, inspire someone else, you know, each other in this journey. And so, again, continue to follow the Hair Debate. Do share the Hair Debate. We have shows coming up. We're getting ready to start our taping for season four. That you guys are going to be just, you have to be a part of it. You have to continue to follow us. And definitely stay tuned to what, um, to our storyline that we're creating here. You know, don't know what we're going to call it yet, but, you know, just stay tuned. Continue to follow us. You know, follow Angela and myself, Morello King, at the Hair Debate. It is. Stay tuned.